Hello everybody and welcome back to our Rain World modding tutorial series. In this video, we are going to be going over how you can add a gate to your region. This is a direct follow-up to the last two videos where we explained how to add a new room to a pre-existing region as well as modify a room from a pre-existing region. Both of these things can lead your gate and your region to the rest of the map so that anybody can access it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually make the gate level. <clears throat> so in your level editor of choice, you can go ahead and make a gate room. Now, you are probably going to want to follow a template. So if you have downloaded Solar's repo, link in the description, there should be modded gates and you can do dry gate template here. Ah, lovely. Now I'm just going to save as, <clears throat> and we are going to call this gate underscore CC underscore XX. Now the, it's required to be formatted like this. The first bit has to be gate underscore, and, and then it has to be the two regions that you're connecting. So we are connecting chimney canopy and our region. So you'd put CC and then underscore and then XX. Now it doesn't matter if you do CC underscore XX or XX underscore CC. Either one works, it doesn't matter. Now you can edit this to your heart's content. I'm gonna put a bird head here as it is the best tile objectively. Now we can render this room. So then you're going to want to find the room and you're going to select these two files and copy them. Then back in your mods folder, you are going to want to open world and you are going to want to make a new folder called gates. In this folder, you are going to paste your room. Next, you're going to want to go into modify world make a new folder and call it gates. Then you're going to want to make a new text file and name it locks.txt. Here, you're going to want to type in add in brackets gate underscore xx underscore cc or whatever the name of your new gate is, then a space and a colon and another space. And then here, this is where we decide the karma requirements for our gate. Hello, everybody. Future Miss Crypt here. In this part of the video, I was uh, completely wrong. And because I don't want to spread misinformation, I am adding this addendum. For your locks txt, when you add your room, the number on the left is going to be the karma requirement for the left side. The number on the right is the karma requirement for the right side. And these range from one to five. So one being the lowest karma and five being uh, max karma. I don't know if you can do six and 10 and all that for like echo karmas. I'm not sure about that, but one to five is the regular range. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll let, uh, I'll let past Miss Crypt uh, continue her script and you can finish the video. Okay, bye bye. And then we can close that. Then we're gonna go back into Modify and World and we are going to go into CC and World CC. This is where we are adding our gate to. So let's create a new line and type in the name of our room. So that's gate underscore xx underscore cc. And we are going to add a colon. And then where do we want it to connect to? Let's say it connects to the room we made earlier. I went back and added another connection to it. So now the new room that we added connects to the room that we modified and our new gate room. Now, your gate room will probably have an entrance and an exit, but what are you supposed to do for the exit if it's in a different region? Well, 
Here we have our entrance and here we have our exit. So let's presume that this entrance comes from Chimney Canopy. So since it's the topmost leftmost, we put that one first. But this one, we want this to connect to a different region. So what do we put in place of that? Well, we put disconnected. Even if you have a room that this connects to, you're going to want to put disconnected. And the reason for that is because there needs to be, you know, the proper formatting for this. Disconnected just says, you know, it doesn't go anywhere. But when you go through the gate, the game will switch which region you're in and the gates will change. So when you end up on the other side, it's not going to be disconnected. It's going to be whatever's in your region. Um, now, we also need to tag this with gate. And then this is what we're left with. Now, we want to go back to your mods folder, go into world, go into XX, and open up world XX. You're going to want to add the same thing in here. So we type gate underscore XX underscore CC. And this time, we put disconnected first because that's leading to the chimney room. Then we're going to want to connect this to oh, our other room that we've added and then tag this with gate. Now, this should be all of the steps that's required for adding a gate to your region. So now we can open up Rainworld. So once we're in game, we can load up our save. So for me, that's Monk. And we can use warp menu to go to our room. Now I've modified this room to add a new connection. So I'm really quickly just going to head over there. Look at our glorious room we made in the last video. Now, with this new connection and our gate, we go in and oh, it's our gate. And look at the karma requirements. They match uh, what we set them to. So now, if you have the proper karma, you'll be able to go through. And look, there's our room in our region. How wonderful is that? We now have a gate to our new custom region. In the next video, I will be going over how to add shelters to your region. So that's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and gleaned something new. Um, so I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!